Now that's breakfast. Morning guys, it's seven o'clock in the morning and we've just woken up. Had a really nice night in the van. Better than I thought, a lot better than I thought. We made sure we got a better duvet, just a cheapo one from the supermarket, but it, you'd need something to keep it warm. That was the only worry that we were gonna be freezing at night and we're not, thankfully, so it's all right. First thing you do in the morning is make a cup of tea. So today we're on our way to Loch Orr. It's about another two hours drive down the road and uh, we'll see you there. So we got on the road and we're on the way to Loch Orr. But we've just seen a sign for the uh, Falls of Doe chart. Uh, it's in Killing or something like that. It's a very small town, but it's really good to see. But my camera died halfway through. So now we're continuing on to Loch Orr. Hopefully we won't get too distracted by the beautiful scenery. We've just arrived at Loch Orr. Look how beautiful it is. It's one of the longest locks in um, Scotland. We've just parked up because we're going to go into that little store there uh, just to ask where we can hire fishing rods, tackle and get a license to fish. Uh, but we also want to hire a boat as well. So. We just asked a lady in there um, where the place was and she says we've got to go around the other side of the lock and uh, we can hire all the boats and everything from there. So that's where we go now after the ice cream. We're going. So we found the boat hire shop for hiring a boat. We're in the middle of Loch Orr and uh, trying to fish, not having any luck, don't really know how to fish, but it's good fun. <laughs> I'm going to go and explore some of those islands in a bit, see what's there. So we just caught something, can you see? It's so peaceful on the lake, it's so quiet out here. Great thing just to relax and chill out. And we saw fish. Now we're going to explore the island. Enough. Just landed on a, one of the main islands in Loch Orr. They're all abandoned. People land on them all the time and explore them. found a rope swing. There's a ruin of a castle on this island. Let's go and explore it. Found it guys! Ruins of the castle on the tiny island in Loch Orr. Look how thick those walls are. Love exploring ruins. It's like a little room still intact. It's 
like a little teeny tiny room with uh, castle halls. So when I was younger growing up I was always into adventure films and Indiana Jones when I was younger. I, I love it. Always wanted to do it myself. It's fantastic. Some locals tipped us off that it was uh, a castle. They told us about this island. So it's always best to uh, consult the locals wherever you go. They tell you all the best places. <laughs> Got in. Just in time. We're going to test on that. Yeah. So we just crashed the boat, <laughs> we just crashed it into this pontoon, trying to park. And kind, a nice kind uh, Scottish fella who's camping there came and rescued us. Idiot. We chucked in the rope, towed us in. So we made it to the castle. So the Scottish blokes that helped us, they've just been fishing at the side of this castle. They've caught about five, and they caught one huge one just five minutes ago, but they catch them and took them back and take pictures. And they showed us the pictures and they were massive, but they're fishing for pike, but it just shows you that there are, there are in there to catch. So that's the castle we're done. There's those two blokes fishing that uh, we just spent about half an hour talking to them. Oh, great fun. They were tipping us off with loads of things and he was telling us how dangerous Loch Orr is. Loch Orr is one of the most dangerous locks in Scotland, so you got to have your whips about you, he says. Uh, he says, just between those two islands there, um, three people got killed. It's gotten a bit chillier now, so uh, just the wind's picked up. Yeah, a bit of wind chill. And uh, we're just headed back now. Awesome day on Loch Orr. Thoroughly enjoyed it. This is the way to see Loch Orr. Hire a boat and just go around exploring. It's amazing. So we've just made it back. And it's about six o'clock now. We survived the boat trip. And uh, it's just turned out glorious weather for the sunset. Definitely worth doing by boat. That's definitely the way to do it because uh, the road, it snakes in and out from uh, the lock itself. It goes inland and outland. And... So the sun sets going down behind me. It's been a wonderful day. Beautiful surroundings. And we've actually managed to camp where we hired the boats from, which is fantastic. Um, all included in the price. It's uh, lock or boats. Um, if you hire a boat, you get to camp here for free. It's amazing. We didn't even know that. We didn't even realise. It's going to be an eventful day tomorrow. Uh, we're going to head off to Fort William uh, and explore Fort William for the day. Probably get a proper campsite. We're not too sure if we can find a free campsite in Fort William. And then go and see the, the viaduct. Uh, that the Harry Potter train goes over. So yeah, we're gonna go and find that tomorrow. That's only half an hour outside of Fort William. So, should be good guys. Stay tuned, join the expedition. Morning guys. So uh, we've just got up and uh, it's bloody early in the morning. It's about half six. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> 